Okay, so welcome to the fitting for low truck build. This has two applications. It can either go in a truck where the bed is between 700 and 800 mil, or some people actually put it into a van where they've got a raised floor or drawers or something and they can't put the normal vanville onto the ordinary van bed. So the first thing to do is choose where it's going to go. If it's for a pickup truck, it needs to be as close to the back door as possible. Otherwise, when it drops down, the track here can foul on the bumper. So put it in place. Mark on the floor where your holes are going. Make sure you look underneath first. To make sure you don't hit the spare wheel or pipes or anything else. And then drill the holes into the bed ready for the bolts to attach it to. So once you've got your bearings both attached to the surface you're putting it on, then next thing to do, bring the tray out to the end of the track. Hope you're stronger than me, lift your anvil on. One really important bit is that it uh, contacts this little lip at the back of the tray here. That allows it to uh, stay in place and won't let it to fall off, off the back. Next thing we have to do is attach the anvil to the tray. This is done by using the coach bolt here. There are three different slots here and you need the one that's nearest to the middle of the anvil. If you need to move from slot to slot, you may have to undo that bolt there to lift the tray to, to choose your correct slot. But this one is already in the right one. And what we do, it's really important that you tighten the nut all the way down to the bottom and uh, tighten it up on the tray because this then keeps the bolt uh, from falling outwards and it keeps it vertical. So as you tighten that down, you'll see the bolt there stays vertical and now it can't fall out that way. Um, these nuts that we've just put on are the not nylock ones. Uh, that means you can take it down all the way until it's tight on the tray. Obviously do that to both sides. The next thing to do is put the tie bar on. Some of the tie bars are flat, some are round. Doesn't really make any difference, but just put them in place and then use the nylock nut to make sure that tightens down onto the anvil. Okay, next thing, push the anvil down to the bottom of its travel until it locks in place. Then you'll see quite clearly this one is nowhere near level, so we have to adjust the level to make it flat when we're working on it. This is done by the means of these little side plates here. There are four holes in the plate and there are three holes in the tray. You have to choose the right combination of those holes until it's level. So for instance, that would be the highest um, adjustment with the biggest angle. And then if you take that out, spin the plate round and you put it in that hole, that would be the lowest. You just choose whichever one in between those suits your setup. Okay, return the anvil up into the horizontal position, so press down on it a little, pull the pin, the leg will lift it back up for you, slide it back towards the van. Next thing we have to do is set the stop in the right place here, so that when the anvil goes up, it's got the track vertical. So you'll notice at the moment, no stop in place. The track is too far out, the tailgate won't close. So we've got to adjust where the anvil stops. So you bring it back out a little, put the little square stop plate into one of these four holes that are drilled in the track. And one of those will give you, just a bit of trial and error, one of them will give you the right position. So now when I stand it up, the track is vertical, inside the door, job done. You'll notice that the 
plate gives you four different adjustments at each hole. There's four different holes. If you turn it through 90 degrees each time, you'll notice it gives you a different adjustment. So you've got 16 adjustments in total. slide it back until it contacts the square stock and lift it until the healing anvil sits on the bed and that's the job done. You shouldn't need to make any more adjustments, it should be the same wherever you go.